Hmm. Zero's Game. Not gonna lie. I like this series, honestly. Um, I always have a soft spot for main characters that have had it rough, you know, in their life. It kind of hits home to certain degrees, and I can really empathize with, you know, the character. Um, more so. So, it really draws me in because of that. And the whole survival game, life or death kind of thing really is very appealing and very interesting if I do so say. Um, all in all, I think Zero Game is very, again, it's up there to webtoons with top tier potential. Um, but that being further said, let's get into the review. So what is Zero's Game? Zero's Game follows our main character, Hana Yu. And as I said, she's had a rough life. Um, it's always been hard and turmoil since the moment she was born. It's like she basically was climbing Mount Everest with nothing but her naked body. And every time that she even gets close, she's always smacked down or frozen. And she basically is at a point where she really just completely hates her life. In addition, her parents have also died. Um, and the only clue or the only thing that her father left for her is um, these mysterious exes um, in a place where they used to play, I believe. Now, um, one day, um, Hana, by accident, enters into the Zeros game, which is a game that will grant the winner basically whatever they want. However, you, you stake your life on the line. Using the mechanics of a basic game, you are to basically beat the Zeros game and clear it, and then you get whatever that your heart choose so desires um being that uh hana really hates her life and feels that she has nothing to lose she accepts the offer to take the zeros game only to realize that living was more was better than potentially dying now i think i've said it before in my last line the reason why zeros game really appeals to me is because the appeal of survival is stronger than we take for granted. Um, a lot of times, sometimes we may seem like we want to die, or you know, we just want life to be over. And this is what Hana Yu really thinks. But as her life is constantly being put on the line, and she's in a survival game in which she's very much new up against people who've played it for several years, she realized that her desire to live becomes even stronger. So she is pushed to get stronger to basically survive and even to beat the game. There's also something else that propels her to beat the game, but you're gonna have to read to find out what that is, what, um, so ever. Also, like I said, um, since I like a, a webtoon called The Gamer, uh, I kind of have a soft spot for like uh, stories that are like the basics of a game, especially survival games that really take something as childish as a game and put it in something so serious like life or death. Um, Dice is really good at this uh, to a small extent, whereas um, the dice that they use, um, you can basically buy or use it for like skill points as in an actual real game. Or with the gamer, where it takes a more lighter side. Um, to basically life or death, but basically his ability is a component of that uh, game. So this really sticks out to me, especially since those animes that I just mentioned are very underrated. It means um, a lot to me that uh, a new series that really takes this whole aspect of a game and puts it in such a contextual uh, space, such as like survival. Um, also, again, I'm a gamer. So I love games, so I can easy, it's easy and simple for me to um, reson, resonate. Um, also, the motives of everyone is um, very unclear, which again, I'm again, what keeps appealing the audience here is the mystery of it all. And it's it seems so, so like, well, yeah, duh, is the mystery, but it's a lot more deeper and it's a lot more of a psychological trick. Um, if you will. So if you wanted to get someone's attention or if you wanted to pique someone's interest, you just give them something that they don't know. So for example, if 
I wanted to get the attention of, I guess, my friend, and he likes maybe a card, a Yu-Gi-Oh. I might tell him that I have a special card for him, and his interest is piqued because he doesn't know what it is. And that's basically what a lot of these webtoons are are doing. And I'm starting to see this really like very powerful trend of you know really having like either very vague plot or very vague characters and Zero's Game definitely has very vague characters because you don't really know like the motives. I'll give you an example. There is one character and you you don't know if he's on her side, if he's not on her side, and you don't know if you'll backstab her in the future or not. But the thing is you don't know if any of the characters are going to backstab each other um, in the future. It is a survival game, so at one point where like either one can complete the game or a bunch of them can complete the game, but the point is you can kill people to stop um, them from winning the game. So I am really am intrigued about like what is the purpose of a lot of the characters that I have seen, and that only propels me more to um, read the series. Now one thing that I would love to see um, Zero's game enhance on is its component of a game which again we're in the beginning chapters so there's more plenty of time for the author to develop um, this uh, this certain thing but one thing that I do like about the gamer and about dice is that the game component is so complex like an actual game like if you ever played like our RMO RPGs or any like basic leveling up game it's very complicated it's not just simply I gain level I buy skills. No, it's like I gain level to do this and my level gets big enough so I can do this to then I got to gain that level by doing this. It, it's and that's one thing that the gamer really does. Whereas like his ability is not just level up. I'm OP. It's like no level up, but I do all these things to become over overpowered. And that's one thing that I would love to see in Zero's game. Like how complicated, how creative can the author get, you know, by, you know, uh, with the components and the, you know, factors and all of this leveling up thing. Like, what can the author do that is different from Dice or the gamer? And I'm very curious. But so far, this webtoon is in a very good direction. It definitely has piqued my interest. And again, I definitely think it's worth checking out Zero's Game. All right, and that is my review on Zero's Game. If you uh, want to. Uh, read Zero's Game, I'll leave a link down in the description below. If you like this video and want to hear more webtoons, web comics, again, I, I do make other videos that are not from my webtoons. I just started moving, so I haven't had time to really like make videos about them. But if you want to see more of those in the future, like and subscribe, uh, comment on your favorite webtoon, all that good stuff. But more importantly, please make sure you support the content creators because they work very, very, very hard to make um, these uh, webtoons for us. So with that being said, I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.